Hello, everyone. Ron Gerber from Angel Beat. So excited to have Eric, who's with Hammond Power Solutions, as he likes to call himself, Eric from HPS. Mm-hmm. Eric is responsible for all of HPS's clean energy, renewable energy, all of their products that are deployed in solar and other related applications. Hammond Power Solutions specializes in dry type transformers. I'm going to ask Eric to talk about this because sure. my first immediate question, well, well, if they're dry type transformers, there's got to be wet type ones as well. I'll let him you, describe that difference as well. You, you, you got it, Ron. Just just real quick on the dry versus oil okay. or, or liquid filled transformers. The, the dry type uses air as a cooling medium. As as a as opposed to uh, the oil or or uh, uh, other types of uh, liquids to to cool in the oil or liquid fill transformers. Now I'm not sure exactly the difference in market share, but I do know that dry types and Hammond is the leader. They've got close to 2,000 employees and one of the largest companies specializing in the transformer industry. So. You, can you got it. You, you do traditionally see a lot of the the oil or liquid filled in the medium voltage sized pad mounts that go on uh, energy storage and solar projects. Right. Um, the the dry types that you you may not notice are the auxiliary power transformers doing site power stuff like that and commercial size projects low voltage to low voltage uh, PV ties and stuff like that. So a lot of detail there. That's going back to my college engineering degree that I remember somewhat, but not exactly well, Eric described it, but but at a very high level, which is why I want to make sure everyone understands the importance of HPS. When you're looking at deploying clean energy solutions, which could be installing new solar panels, could be installing EV charging infrastructure, how about microgrids and complementary batteries, so you have more power stored on-prem than you might be then trying to more explicitly integrate backup generators, batteries, solar power. It's getting more and more complicated as organizations want to be more sustainable and more self-sufficient. We see that a lot with organizations dealing with forest fires, natural disasters, energy pricings. There's a number of reliability concerns, financial concerns, that you want to look very carefully at putting in all of these projects. And especially with the new Inflation Reduction Act, it's providing even more financial incentives and drivers for organizations to upgrade their electrical infrastructure right. in your commercial or industrial applications. Now, many of you, when you're looking at your projects, oh, it's good to see all these large batteries, they're very visible, or suddenly if you put in place a lot of solar panels, you can see a lot of of high profile products out there. Yep, you got it. They're on top of the carports, you see EV charging. You probably don't see too many dry type transformers so immediately available. But the way I look at this, which is why I wanted to have Eric share his insights, is they are the foundation, they are the critical parts of your electrical high voltage infrastructure to ensure all of these more visible solutions work effectively. I liken it if you're it. if you're building a new house or a new apartment building and you don't make that foundation solid, you don't make it level, you don't you, you want to make sure that the foundation can support not just two stories, yeah. but let's say if you're building a 10 story building, you want to make sure that's sound. That's the way I describe the importance very, of your transformer. If, if, you, if, you, if you need a transformer in a system, yeah, it's a very integral piece that that super important to get it get it right the first time so you don't come down to the the commissioning point where you want to flip that switch on and uh and and you're you're not ready to go right Got so maybe uh, why don't you describe a little bit about your background since we set the stage you know what's your role there within hammond power solutions a little bit of background on the company and maybe even touch on some of the specific installations that you've worked on to give people a better sense for the critical importance of dry type transformers. That's that's good, Ron. Yep, uh, and and it's a it's a wide subject, so we could talk all day on this. We'll we'll try to keep it uh, uh, concise for uh, brevity here. Um, uh, per- personally, I've been dealing with uh, uh, more of the clean energy products for five, six years now, and uh, I think in in clean energy world, that's that counts for I don't know about twenty years, right? Uh, that's right. But I, I consider myself a, a transformer expert first, 
and then uh, and then we've found different applications where our products plug into the the whole clean energy spectrum uh, from uh, you know solar energy, uh, wind, battery storage, now now EV charging, uh, <clears throat> power distribution, stuff like that. Um, but we've got a got a wide variety of products that come from uh, uh, small, like I said, small control panel transformers all the way up to the largest transformers you can you can imagine, and everything in between. So that really touches on a wide variety of different applications. Um, but uh, Hammond Power Solutions, being a, a hundred year plus company, has got our uh, our manufacturing act together, so to speak, where we we keep a very consistent supply chain coming behind the scenes to uh, supply the industry. Uh, which which has been difficult in the current climate. So uh, we take great pride in the, our our current ability to uh, to shorten lead times and and keep a, a pretty wide variety of products on the shelves. Um, uh, Hammond does uh, uh, work with electrical distributor networks, so that's that's probably the best place to uh, to find our parts. Uh, we do also like to uh, have a little front end uh, help. Uh, available to anybody that has questions on the transformers because it does get tricky it, there's many different applications uh even on a standard uh low voltage or low voltage pv tie for example not not all projects are the same and very 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 few of them are uh, in, in my experience so uh we, we do like to offer a little extra advice in the front end if you have questions on that you can feel free to reach out through preferably through the distribution network sure we, we and and a uh preferred partner and we can uh, take it from there and, and uh, make sure you get the right pieces on the, the project that you need. Now imagine a good part of your effort or your colleagues within Hammond is working with other companies in the clean energy world just so you're aware of how their products are evolving and making sure that your products are compatible and enhance new capabilities built into them. Is that a big part of what you're doing at Trump? Yeah, that's right. Like? We're trying trying to be proactive and having have the right pieces for the the right prod products and projects as they emerge. And uh, being an industry that's rapidly changing with with new technology, that's that can be challenging sometimes. We do do uh, Hammond Power Solutions does partner with a lot of the you know the the, the biggest names in the industry. You could go down the list. We won't name sure. any any names here, but uh, but. But it's we're definitely got cutting edge uh, projects that we're we're working on and developing uh, constantly our our product to fit into that space to make sure it, it's most user friendly by the time it makes it to the field. Got it. I, I think that's very important. You know, we see that a lot. You know, when you look at the whole supply chain going out from Hammond, uh, it was good that Eric mentioned in today's climate. It's very helpful to know Hammond is able to source all the necessary. Mm -hmm products, software, raw materials it needs to make the dry type transformers. But then once they go out of the Hammond factories, then you need to then rely upon your distributors, your contractors, your facility you managers to piece it all together. I would imagine a big part of it is you have to figure out like what's the right connectors, the right sizing, the right you got it. dimensions. All those kind of capabilities, I think, you know, when I've spoken to a number of your distributors, one of the things they constantly reference is the great thing about the Hammond products is it it's really easy to piece it together as part of my total solution. As Eric mentioned, you know, the drive type transformers are a critically important part, but they are just one part of an overall energy, okay. clean energy solution. So the last thing you want to do is suddenly have products that you think work together when they finally get to your facility site where you're doing this yeah. the last thing you want to do is have your construction no, no, nobody wants that you got it <laughs> yeah and so you do a lot of that in, in doing training with all of them are there any like new innovations or yeah. new things coming down in dry type it may not seem as fast changing <laughs> but i have to believe once you drill down a little bit of detail there are some cool things emerging yeah th thanks for leading into that ron in the uh, you know, Hammond's been building transformers for 100 years. Some of the newer technology that we've gotten into is uh, power quality related products to address uh, harmonics in systems and in uh, other power quality type issues that uh, we, we find are are becoming more frequent as we uh, venture forth into into the future here. Um, from you know, being caused from the different technologies pause from old technologies, but we're, we've got a, a whole series of products that address power quality related issues now. 
and uh, they, they may be a little bit more tricky to apply it correctly. It might not even be a, a, an obvious issue until you're ready to put that, turn that inverter on and it, it's not functioning properly. And yeah. so part so, of the whole troubleshooting process. So that's uh, some, something yeah. to be aware of on the horizon here. The, the so that's a good thing to be very proactive when you've got so many different sources of electricity coming into the transformer. Maybe it's coming from solar, which could be volatile. Maybe there are changes. Suddenly, a, a PV panel has some interruptions in power. Some of the individual cells aren't working. Maybe then there's Got an it. automatic switchover to go from batteries to your backup generator. And when you've got such a change or increased volatility in the inputs coming in, you better make sure that your transformer can adapt to that. You got it. And it's probably incredibly important because the last thing you want to do is have a safety issue. The last thing you want is have an impact on your plant operations. Or, or, or loss, loss of uh, efficiency in your system, too. I mean, that's that's ener energy that you are getting that you should be getting, right? And that's that's what we're – not being a, a piece of the puzzle that generates the energy. Our, our, the Hammond piece is we conserve energy. And, and the power quality piece coming in now, too, is also helping your whole efficiency of your system to help conserve that piece of energy that you're generating. Well, this is, you know, very insightful. One of the things that we always like to communicate to our Angel B community is products, insight, solutions that aren't immediately visible but are incredibly important. We encourage everyone to go to HammondPowerSolutions.com. Uh, for more information, uh, Thank you, you can always go to Angel Beat. We'll be glad to forward along. I think the key takeaway, if you're a facility director, if you're an electrical contractor, and you're suddenly now, there's lots more credits for solar energy now that's going to hopefully provide a greater financial stimulus for renewed investment there. You're seeing changes going on in batteries that tie into solar. There's going to be a lot more installed on-prem. I see a lot more climate change, forest fires. I know um, I was talking to someone out in California, which is amazing that Stanford, the big college out there in the Bay Area, had to shut down its summer school because of the forest fires. Now, there weren't any fires near San Francisco or Palo Alto where Stanford is, but pg and had to shut down you know, the grid because... They couldn't supply power reliably further upstream. And then Stanford, who relies upon its summer schools for a great deal of revenue, marketing, couldn't do it. So all of these things are happening. We're seeing so much or, or so much increased investment in what I call on-prem electrical infrastructure. You're not just relying upon the public grid. There's so much being done to make every plant more efficient. Um, and becoming a little bit more of a decentralized electrical network. So if I think for all those strategic reasons that are talked about in the executive suites, okay, we can't, if there's forest fires, if there's a hurricane, we need to operate without question. And, and so how are we going to do that? You're going to do that, you know, through batteries, through solar. And as part of that, you're going to want to do it with Hammond Power Solutions to make sure that you, that you can continue to work. I, I, I think it's, you know, you know, maybe it's just me in my old engineering degree, but I love hearing about solutions like this that may not get the immediate visibility that is required. And hopefully, uh, after after listening to your comments, Eric, uh, people know that they better specify HPS transformers in the final package, and it's going to make your approval better. Thanks, Ron. Yep, feel free to plug plug our team in. That's what that's what we're here for. Make sure we get this get this right the first time, right? Absolutely. Last thing you want to do is God absolutely not having to after going through all this work suddenly have it not work or having some um, uh, regulatory official saying I don't you know this is not right. You got to rework this. It's great. Well, thank you so much. If you're ever uh, going out for a Wisconsin Badger football game, you know, you, you actually go. should go visit the Hammond Power Solutions. I would imagine maybe if you call up Eric, he'll give you a yeah. tour of their facility. There we go. It's amazing. Uh, he's not wearing his uh, Bucky Badger red, but I'm sure, you know, come football season or basketball, he's probably, oh, he's got it. He's got there his go. Bucky Badger red. Uh, that was, that uh, was an un unscripted prop, by the way. 
<laughs> That's great. Well, thank you very much, Eric. I appreciate your time. Yep. Thanks. Thanks, Ron. Take care.